So, namaste to everyone. Welcome to the 10th batch of morning session. Namaste, Kumar Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, everyone. I hope I am properly audible. Yes, we are audible. Okay, Bhaiya. So, welcome to the 10th batch of the morning session. We started the morning sessions in 2020 and the purpose was to be connected on a routine basis and gradually this has turned out to be a very routine process and we have been doing it consistently for the past three years or more even and this is the 10th batch in general we plan to have one batch for four months and for the previous ninth batch we exactly did it for four months in the morning sessions we discuss primarily two exercises, exercise one and two. We'll talk about it. We also did UHV three online in the morning session. And we also have discussed frequently asked questions in one batch. So we all are aware that we as human beings have the basic aspiration to be happy and prosperous in continuity. And this basic aspiration is going to be fulfilled by awakening to the higher activities of the self. So I am the self coexisting with the body and I need to awaken to the higher activities of the self to be in the state of happiness in continuity. This is the development of the self. Now, we all have this basic aspiration, whether we are acquainted with the content of UHV or not. Every human being has this basic aspiration. This is the innateness of every human being. Now, based on our own sanskar or the conditiveness of the atmosphere, we happen to attend the UHV workshop and then we attended one workshop after another. So we got the proposal. But when we go to live accordingly, according to the proposal, we have so many questions. So the basic task is to <clears throat> listen to the proposal as the first thing, then to verify the proposal within oneself at the level of natural acceptance and to live accordingly. Now, when we go to do this, we feel that we are not very clear of the proposal because when the outcome is not happiness within, then we have multiple questions coming up and we want to get resolved. So there has to be some platform on which we can discuss all the questions that occur to us. So this morning session is, a, is an opportunity for us to discuss all the questions that occur to us uh, so that we are resolved completely. Unless we have the clarity in the imagination, we feel resolved in the imagination, we are also not very uh, clear about what to do next to understand, to contemplate. So in this morning session, we welcome all the participants to ask all the questions that they have uh, pertaining to their living. And to assist it, we'll be doing the two exercises, exercise one and two. In exercise one, we'll be observing the self by the self. And in exercise two, we'll be observing the body by the self. And this will become more clear as we go along. Most of us must have attended the morning session earlier also. So we are acquainted with uh, the steps in the seven proposals, uh, two proposals for exercise one and two. And those who have joined new will find it something uh, new to explore. Now, if you see through your own exploration, you'll find that the basic issue that each one of us faces is that when we are working for happiness, where is our effort? What are we doing to ensure happiness? Are we looking for the source of happiness within or are we looking for the source of happiness outside? Isn't it? So through the tradition, we'll see that people have been doing so many things to ensure happiness you know? and this is something which is the crux of the morning session that we are going to you know, go forward for 
that are we able to see the source of happiness within or are we looking for happiness outside now at the level of thought we may say that yes this is it and that is not the case but in our living what is happening what is happening in my imagination what is my sanskar what have i come to accept and what do i reject am i able to see it naturally for myself so the basic question that we are trying to address in this part of the session is that is happiness our innate nature or is it an external influence being the innate nature means that i am happy by myself i don't need to depend on anything outside for my happiness isn't it now when i am saying this again some questions may arise in you but uh, will respond to all those questions so is the source of happiness within me i am happy by myself or it is an external influence for me so when i am there with myself isn't it am i naturally happy or i have to look for things outside i have to switch on the mobile i have to look at the mobile i have to turn the pages of the books we have to talk to people i have to look at the television i have to look at the surrounding to be happy now let me also say that when the source of happiness is within it's not that i will not participate outside what i am saying is that am i happy naturally by myself or naturally by myself i am not happy and so i have to depend on something outside for my happiness that is being under some external influence to be happy so this is the basic thing that we are going to discuss and i once again welcome all the new participants so whatever you feel you may say you may raise your hands so in the session we'll keep on prompting you to raise your hands and ask whatever questions occur to you and also share your reflection for the old participants who have attended more than twice the morning session i have one request that now we can observe it in more deeply it in more sharply and try to share the crux of what i am able to observe that will help the new participants also in the session okay so when i say this happiness is it our innate nature or is it an external influence what will you say you can respond in the chat box what do you say is it our innate nature or is it some external influence nice so many responses coming if anyone has any thing to share anything to ask please raise your hand if you have any question pertaining to this point ji ravi kan ji uh, good morning to you ji good morning uh, i am audible yeah audible yeah uh, good morning all and uh, i'm being very happy to join this morning session a uh, tenth morning session and i uh, wish uh, that uh, everybody who is joining us uh, uh, take this uh, and enjoy this opportunity of four months so it is very uh, a joyful moment for me and uh, uh, i think for all of us who have been practicing uh, this uh, morning session experience for uh, the last uh, bashes uh, uh, yeah just to the uh, wish you a very very happy and successful at uh, 10th uh, 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 morning session and to all the team uh, i'm here to express my gratitude and uh, all the best to all of you and uh, let me start with a simple question that uh, uh, when we say uh, sukh swabhav hai or uh, when we say happiness is uh, it our innate nature so uh, uh, the meaning of nature uh, the term nature for all of us is something which is inherent which is just attached with us and uh, when we see that uh, yeah, are we naturally happy so are we naturally happy means uh, uh, what i take is that it is just with me it is there in me 
so uh, when i gather this meaning that it is just there in me so it is very uh, it is not that uh, easy to uh, see that uh, happiness is a part of me it is with me i see that i am not happy always and therefore i decide that happiness is not with me i am i'm seeking happiness from outside so uh, when i look for the answers to these two questions is it our innate nature or is it an external influence so the uh, obvious answer which uh, comes in my mind is that it is my external influence or it is the external influence or i seek happiness from extra, uh, uh, outside sources it is not with me it is not my innate nature that is what i uh, gather from the very first impression uh, but as you yeah, like yeah. that, uh, that when we so presently uh, it is not the case yes presently this is not the case that happiness is our innate nature but what is naturally acceptable does it need to be our innate nature or does it need to be an external influence what do you say yeah that is where i'm just coming to that uh, i seek happiness i want it to be with me i want it to be by nature that is my desire but as far as uh, uh, when i see to it at present that is it my nature is it uh, a nature in the sense uh, ye something jaise main agar hindi mein karu ki par bhav yani bahar se aaya hua bhav aur swa ka bhav yani mere andar se aaya hua bhav अगर इसको इस तरह से लियो तो देर आई फाइंड दैट यस आई आई सीक हैप्पीनेस फ्रॉम आउटसाइड और और आई वांट टू सीक हैप्पीनेस फ्रॉम इनसाइड सो व्हाट आई विश इज डिफरेंट एंड व्हाट आई डू इज डिफरेंट ओके बट व्हेन आई अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म नेचर सो द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म नेचर इज समथिंग व्हिच इज विथ मी इट इज विथ मी इट इज इनसाइड मी सो हैप्पीनेस seeking happiness is different and having happiness always is different it is uh, the meaning i gather from this uh, two sentences and you rightly said yes nice, yeah, uh, yes certainly all, so, all our all our efforts are for seeking happiness but we seek happiness from outside we do not look inside to seek happiness and whenever we uh, and whenever uh, we look for uh, seeking happiness inside we see that we are not happy yeah If I'm seeking happiness, that means that I am not happy. Yes. Yeah. So yes, this is also important. Whether we are seeking happiness or we are naturally happy. Hmm. And we and we find that we are not naturally happy. Yes. So it is something that we are uh, either not happy or we are with uh, the side, uh, side or uh, or unhappy uh, mood or yeah. or unhappy feeling. but we wish to have but we wish to be happy that is our, always our desire so the that point is that we may be doing so many things outside okay we are Maybe. we might be trying to change things outside on a small scale or a large scale or a very large scale but within me if i am not resolved within me i am not happy by myself then whatever i do outside remains only as an influence isn't it and i am always seeking happiness by doing something outside so i am not comfortable yeah. within i am not happy within and that's how when i participate also i am not participating with happiness i am participating for happiness yeah 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 you know now participating with happiness and participating for happiness are two different things when i'm participating for happiness my happiness will depend on the outcome when i'm participating hmm. with happiness i'm naturally happy and then i'm working for happiness of others or it is something like by for of i mean when we uh, uh, we have this uh, you know uh, sort of phrase that democracy for the people by the people of the people so it is something uh, just uh, uh, let me take the smile here also that happiness by by for of me Maybe let us not equate that. That is a different thing. <laughs> yeah, so I am not saying that I am not really happy, you know, or I have to depend on something outside for happiness. Yes, nice, yeah, brother. Yeah. Let us keep yeah, exploring you, this. Thank you, brother, and all the best to all of us. Thank you. Nice, brother.
प्रभात कुमार झा जी भैया गुड मॉर्निंग जी गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग टू एवरीबडी व्हाट आई फील टिल नाउ दैट इफ यू आर हैप्पी यू फॉरगेट योर एग्जिस्टेंस यू व्हेन यू यू डोंट हैव द फीलिंग ऑफ द बॉडी सो हैप्पीनेस विद इन यू ऑलवेज विद यू व्हेन वी divert our attention to the outside it goes away even it comes as a pleasure for some time it exists for some time but it is not continuing for longer time it is only within it is always with us it is always with me one no, what you are saying is it your present state or is it the desired state this is my present state okay when you are uh, when i feel that i need something for some time i go out i get the thing i get happiness for that suppose i want a good food i go uh, to a certain place get the food but these momentary things don't give happiness for the longer time but yes. internal happiness is always and i feel that this is the perfect and permanent thing i cannot explain it i i don't have words to explain it but uh, it's 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 uh, pleasure within it's pleasure within i don't have words to explain it nice bhaiya so do you mean to say that you are presently in this state or you are working to be in this state most of the time i am in this state it stays most of the time uh, sometimes when external things i give my attention to the external things that internal happiness goes away when i get connected with external the moment i get connected with external it goes away no so if you are happy by yourself and when you get connected by with external things why should it go off it goes off because my whole awareness which i am i cannot say bhaiya it is awareness but it is a natural habit when i forget the habit and try to become uh, try to become something which will give me pleasure outside uh, i i can say that when my eyes i i can say in this way when my eyes is closed i am happy when i open it and see other people try to uh uh have the thing that is outside i i i my uh, uh, equilibrium get disturbed and it it is uh, it comes in uh, uh 15 days maybe uh, uh after 6 months most of the time i try to i i i try to uh be in my uh state of happiness and i feel it i feel it but nice, when i nice, feel... yeah. so we'll keep on exploring this right 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 as we go along we we'll keep on exploring this bhaiya i want to tell you only one thing this is our innate nature what what you have written is it our innate nature is it is our innate nature it is within with us always every time every moment thank you bhaiya nice bhaiya ravin kumar rao ji sir namaste namaste sir namaste so very fundamental question that uh, uh, that is uh, asking to myself also that whenever i start looking to all my desires and my uh, listing all the desires and uh, see that the very very common thing behind all this wants or desires is to be happy and prosperous in continuity so that we call as basic aspiration so 
so just i was uh, thinking that i became a teacher i became a, a successful um, person so behind all this is to be happy and prosperous that is a, that is a common thing so this is is i can say that is an exercise for me thank you nice bhaiya so we'll keep on exploring this we'll keep on referring to this time and again because this is the basic issue that we are going to address and this is the basic issue for each one of us this is the basic issue for every human being we all are working for happiness toiling hard for it working day and night isn't it managing so many things thinking in so many directions the purpose being that we want to be happy but where we are we are making the effort are we making the effort inside first and then outside or we are living the inside part and just working outside and if that is the case isn't it then we are working only for some external influence now if we make an appraisal of the current scenario of the society we'll see that the physical facilities are going up now we have facilities multiplying in the family in the society and with that the dependence on facilities for happiness is also going up isn't it about 30 40 years back if you see there were many households in which electricity was not there and still people were surviving now electricity is there in almost every house now if the electricity goes off even for half an hour we start feeling restless now if you look in for the past 10 years you'll see that earlier we did not have these smartphones now we all have these smartphones and now we have become highly dependent on the smartphone for happiness isn't it so we'll see that the dependence on some external influence for happiness is going up so technologically we are advancing we are uh, making more and more sophisticated <clears throat> physical facilities but at the core if you see what is happening we may call it development yes we do need physical facilities we need to facilitate things but am i also getting dependent on this for happiness now the flip part of this is that so should we not be working for these physical facilities so what i am saying that we need physical facilities for the body will discuss about it we have already discussed in the workshop also but at the same time am i depending on facilities for happiness and if that is the case then happiness is becoming an external influence for me so at a personal level try to see at a personal level try to see are you happy by yourself or you have to depend on facilities outside for happiness if the facilities are removed or if the facilities are not available temporarily what does happen to you are you comfortable or uncomfortable are you utilizing these facilities to share your happiness or you are depending on these facilities to ensure happiness to fetch happiness now it will be there that we might be involved in so many activities isn't it and we might be very active also but at the core you have to trace this particular thing that am i happy within or i have depend on facilities outside people outside what happens if people don't meet me do i become uncomfortable what happens to me when there is a holiday and nobody is there in the house okay and i have to spend all the time with myself how do i feel i may sleep for some time okay now when the body has taken enough rest how do i feel do i start feeling restless or i feel comfortable with myself now there are certain things where we can explore for ourselves whether i am seeking happiness outside or the happiness is there in me and i am participating with a feeling of happiness yes somebody had raised hand you may again raise hand now we'll keep on referring to this this is something very pertinent to us as a human being we keep on exploring this and all of us are basically working for this so let me say that when i am proposing this content to you i am a co explorer it's not that i am able to see that yes happiness is there stated in me and i am sharing with that continuity of happiness no i am also exploring 
I am also working for this. We all are working for this. So we all are co-explorers. And in this process of education, essentially the teachers and the students both are explorers. So it's not expected that a teacher will be a complete person with completeness of right understanding and then only the other can share. No. So the proposal is there in front of us. We have listened to it. We have been verifying it. We have been trying to validate it in our living, in our behavior and work. Now in this morning session, what we are trying to do, we are trying to be a pure observer to see what is being proposed in the workshops. And this is the core. And I go to see. This is the core. Nice. Any other question? So you may raise your hand. Let me also mention, which I didn't mention in the beginning, that now in the 10th batch, I will be conducting the sessions in English. And in Hindi, Bhanu Bhuya will be conducting the sessions. So this is the way we'll go ahead in the 10th batch. Yeah, Dr. S. Anand Kumar. Dr. Anand. Yes, Bhaiya. Am I audible, Bhaiya? Yes, audible. Uh, one question, Bhaiya. Uh, happiness is innate completely and continuous. But in case of uh, the feelings of relationship, the first feeling, trust is there. There, we are making others also happy. I want to be happy myself and always. Like that concept is there. Then how it will become innate? That is external source only, you know. Then... Uh, I want to make others happy. That person receives happiness from me. So that is purely innate, always happy, whatever it may be the conditions. So I have a small doubt regarding this. Sir. Ji, yeah. so when we refer to the four questions that we are asking regarding trust, it is something pertaining to the natural acceptance. So I want to be happy every moment and I want yes. to make every other person happy. This is my natural acceptance. Mm, yes, now, yeah. on the other side, what we are saying is that I want to be happy every moment, but am I happy every moment? Now, if I'm happy every moment, then happiness has become my innate nature. Yeah. I'm not happy every moment, then it you know, is need, some external influence. It is something yes. else. Yes, yes. Need to receive from others. Yeah. Others or any other physical facility. So yeah. I'm not happy in continuity by myself, though I aspire to be happy in continuity. So yeah. now we have to distinguish between what I am and what I really want to be. So what I want is what I really want to be, my basic aspiration. Now my state of being may not be in alignment to that. So when I say that I want to make the other happy, so this is my intention, this is my natural yeah. experience. Yeah. And it's not that if the other is able to be happy by my behavior, then only I am happy. If that yeah. is the case, then also it becomes an external influence. That is our influence. I start our, depending our... on the reaction or response of the other to be happy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Nice. Nice, Vijay. Vijay Kumar Sahuji. Sabko, uh, Namaste. Good morning. Uh, yeah, good morning. Uh, uh, so really, in my personal opinion, happiness... Uh, it is innate in nature and uh, because every human being, they have, uh, they are having the happiness. But sometimes uh, to express it, it requires some uh, external things. And in my opinion, if I can keep others happy, then I'll be happy. Thank you. Now, she said two things. One is that I express my happiness. And the second thing is that I become happy if the others become happy with my behavior. Yeah. Now, if that is the case, then again, the happiness is an external influence. I am depending on the other's reaction or response for my happiness. So, again, happiness is not my innate nature. I have to depend outside. Isn't it? Yeah. Now, that is again a dependence. If my happiness depends on others, reactions or responses, then that again becomes an influence. Okay, Bhaiya? Uh, no, we are just... Uh, uh, so I have some queries. Actually, our inside, we are happy. But we uh, 
हम तो खुश रहेंगे क्योंकि हमारे जो पारिपार्श्विक लोग थे इन लोग को जब हम कृषि कर पाएंगे तो हम बहुत बहुत ज्यादा खुश होंगे अगेन द सेम थिंग whether my happiness goes up or down if it is dependent on something outside yeah yeah it is still an external influence yeah so there are two ways to live one yeah. is to work to be happy yeah and the other is to work happily yes yes <laughs> <laughs> whether uh, we are exactly. working to be happy or we are working happily ah uh, sahi so sahi so <laughs> uh नाइस भैया थैंक यू थैंक यू भैया आरती जी नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी को भैया इसी से हैप्पीनेस इज आर इन इट नेचर नाउ दिस इज द प्रपोजल इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस एंड लेट अस अज्यूम दैट हैप्पीनेस इज आवर इन इट नेचर देन इज इट दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द प्री कंडीशनिंग और इज इट बिकॉज ऑफ Uh, i mean a lot of layers that have come upon us that we do not realize that happiness is our innate nature and there are many times when we are uh, unhappy and we are seeking happiness from outside and we are looking for a lot of different sources uh, to become happy and we have forgotten that uh, happiness is our innate nature now this is something so, that one has to observe for oneself hmm. whether we have forgotten or we are not uh, we are not awakened now i'll not say that we have forgotten but i'll say that we are not awakened now both the reasons are there one is the awakening has not taken place of the higher level activities and the second mm-hmm. thing is that we have got preconditioned also so yes. on one part we have to develop the higher level activities and on the other hand we have also got to evaluate our preconditionings Mm-hmm. which is hindering that process of exploration it's not only the preconditioning because of which we are unhappy it's also that the self has not developed the activities of the self have not developed now when we go to develop mm-hmm. them then we get retarded because of our own preconditionings and most of the preconditionings are to do with the external influences right but yeah and uh... now when i am observing this question or when i am just looking at this question uh, is it our uh, is it our happiness uh, is it our uh, innate nature uh, when my attention goes to it that itself makes for that moment at least makes me realize that yes i am a happy person and i don't need anything from outside it is already within me but then uh maybe uh, we have to learn to be this be in this state in continuity but the moment we ask this question we realize that yes i am happy is what i observed just now fine if i feel that i am happy well and good i'll continue with that yes now i have to learn how to be uh, happy in continuity is what and that I'll very moment learn. i'll not say learn Uh-huh. a bigger word could be understand and essentially i have to develop myself to okay. be in the state of happiness in continuity now okay. we'll again see that if i'm saying that i am happy at the moment what is happiness for me so maybe somehow we may also feel that if i'm not uncomfortable if nobody is troubling me i'm happy so again uh-huh. i have to see yeah what happiness means to me is it the state of harmony or is it the lack of disturbances mhm all right fine didi yes bhaiya lot of lot of contemplation will be needed continue uh, in continuity we have to look within and uh, keep evaluating ourselves whether we are really in the state of happiness or we are just assuming that we are happy so we have to continuously yes. observe ourselves is what i can see and what is the basis for that is it some external conduciveness some favorable situation or right. my own development the situation right. may become favorable and unfavorable from time to time mm-hmm. and that may cause an happiness for me right so many times we assume this favorableness to be happiness 
if others in the mm-hmm. family are liking me they are obeying me they are following me you know they are behaving properly with me i feel mm-hmm. it's a happy life for me but i am not mm-hmm. able to see this that i am depending on others for my happiness if tomorrow their behavior turns you know uh, unfavorable mm-hmm. they start disobeying me my child is not obeying me my spouse may be not appreciating me okay mm-hmm. something yeah. else happens in the family then i become unhappy again it means it was not happiness it was some favorableness of the situation conduciveness of the situation but the moment when i feel like uh, in whatever state the others around me are or uh, uh, how, however they are behaving if i feel like yes i love them or i feel like uh, expressing that feeling of love towards them so maybe this is the state when i am happy is that so yeah so when you have this feeling of love within you for all every mm. moment then you are naturally happy yes if that is the mm. case well and good then you are not depending on others behavior others reactions or responses for your happiness yes means whatever must have happened in the past for example whatever must have happened yesterday but then if this morning when i wake up if i uh, carry that feeling so probably uh, at at least for that moment i'm uh, i'm expressing that innate nature of being happy right no you? i'll not say that in fact going further if something untoward happened yesterday mm-hmm. which made me uncomfortable mm. it means the source of unhappiness is there in me that's how i became uncomfortable yesterday and mm-hmm. temporarily I forgotten it Achha, cannot decision. can it not be my decision to uh, leave it aside and still uh, ensure that i carry the feeling of love for all around me i'll say that in place of leaving it aside i'll evaluate it rightly because when i leave it aside it sometimes comes to the center again mm-hmm. so many times we close our eyes okay. to avoid situations mm-hmm. but closing eyes is not a solution when i want mm-hmm. to see the reality as it is mm-hmm. and i do not get disturbed at all i am able to see that yes the other person is a human being and the natural acceptance of the other person is the same as of me and hmm. the other person wants to be happy wants to make the other happy but only mm-hmm. that the understanding is not developed mm-hmm. so he or she is also caught up in some pre conditioning or depending on sensations for happiness and that's how the other person not happy naturally and then mm-hmm. not able to make me happy also right so in place of setting things aside in place of trying to close our eyes in place mm-hmm. of waiting for the other moment when i am right. out of that situation i will be in a state of continuous happiness when the source of happiness is inside yes. now we may be trying all these measures fine let us go with that also i will not say that try to drop it we may go with that but we may see also that this is not completeness of solution Hmm. This is not the right solution. Yes, sir. Nice, Didi. Nice, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Nice, Didi. I'm able to relate yes. to what you are uh, trying to uh, share. Yes. What it is a great thing. Trending. It does happen. We do all this because many times taking such a decision that okay. What, I, what keeping aside means uh, actually i wanted to say the same thing that yes uh, the other person might be lacking the competence and all um, but then probably i was not able to express in uh, that fashion and uh, and it is not uh, going into the victim mentality now we have to get away from that uh, victim mentality like uh, people are troubling me or uh, but then uh because i am undergoing uhv i will ensure it is not like that now uh it is about understanding uh trying uh, i mean uh, looking at the person with right understanding is what i meant to say keeping us as when i said keeping us safe okay okay then that is fine yeah. yes. then i yes. also not feel disturbed the previous day 
because it, if I'm able to see it naturally, that only the competence lacks. It's not right. the natural acceptance which is wrong. Yes, Isn't but it? then maybe yesterday I a uh, little bit <laughs> had uh, um, less competence, but now today I realize that uh, realize this. So maybe I have built up the competence which is necessary for mutual happiness and for the um, uh, fulfillment of the feeling of love and all within. Yeah, fine. is it right? Is it right? <laughs> Yeah, so if I'm able to have the feeling of love, I'm able to have the feeling of affection, I'm able to have the feeling of trust. Nice, that hmm. will continue with me. Hmm. Even and I'm now, able to huh. resolve myself in the imagination with the proposal yeah. for trust or affection or love. That is also good development, I'll say. Yes. Plus, in place of getting embroiled in our own thoughts, carrying feeling of opposition, yeah. carrying thoughts of yeah. struggle, if I'm hmm. able to resolve myself with the right proposal, that is also yeah. achievement. In fact, we all have to move through that process only. Hmm. We start with this only. Then only we are able to contemplate on the right feeling. Right. And if maybe yesterday I uh, had a little less competence, but now if today I'm able to make a decision that, yes, um, happiness is my innate nature and um, the person lacked the competence, even I lack the competence. And from today, I make a decision that I will ensure that I will um, try to, I will be continuously looking at the person with uh, natural acceptance or everyone around me with natural acceptance and I will go ahead. This decision may help to maintain the continuity is what I feel. Yes, yes. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Nice, Didi. So nice. Thank you, Bhaiya. G.S. Kumar Ji. Namaste. Namaste to all, sir. Namaste, Namaste. Kumar. So, my, according to my opinion, happiness is the innate nature. And uh, at the same time, happiness with others depends on the mutual concern. Uh, my opinion. Sometimes, uh, uh, what is their state at the moment? We cannot say whether they are happy or not. Yeah, sometimes my, I may also change my mind. But act, as per the natural acceptance, every moment maintain a happiness is an innate nature. I can to my happiness is innate nature. That's all. Not influenced with, by others. First, ourselves yeah. make happy. Try to make others also happy based on the others' concern. That is my opinion. Yes, yes. But I will not feel disturbed by others' state of being whether happy or unhappy, if the happiness is innate to me. Yes, yes. yes sir. Nice, Bhaiya. Nice, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Sanmuga Priya. <clears throat> oh, very good morning, Ji. Actually, yes, sir. right from the starting, uh, I was thinking about that only. I could understand that happiness is innate in nature, but many times it got influenced by people around me, or situation around me. But by the time, if I am remembering or thinking about the natural acceptance and uh, right understanding, I could be able to manage some situations. Okay, we need not to react or uh, we need to be happy in this regard. We should not get influenced by others. Uh, some situations I could be able to manage, I can bring back to that uh, happiness situation. But uh, if I'm giving relation, importance to the relationship, even though with the right understanding and uh, natural acceptance, sometimes I am uh, feeling unhappiness only. If I'm uh, giving importance to the relationship, if my son is doing one mistake with the natural acceptance, uh, like I, I am once again, I am becoming unhappy in terms of a relationship. If my colleague is doing some mistake, okay, that is their mistake. Why should we uh, like to suffer in this regard? That way I am seeing the difference, Make how I am making myself happiness. Yeah, so what you shared, now if you see there is no continuity of happiness because your state of being gets disturbed by <laughs> others' conduct. For example, your child. Yes. So it means we are depending somehow outside mm. on happiness. Mm. So I have to see where am I going wrong. Mm. 
because the other person may not act according to my desire every time or may not take my guidance every time or may not fulfill my wishes every time now even if the other person goes my way fulfills my wishes takes my guidance then also i may not be happy if i do not have the right understanding of happiness and this is very much true that if i am depending on others conduct for my happiness then happiness is not in need to me and the other person may be anyone in fact we'll see that if the happiness is an external source for me then i keep on picking external sources for my happiness if one source is removed i pick the other if the other is removed i pick another and this keeps on happening isn't it if i am depending on my son for my happiness and if the son is not there maybe he has gone to a hostel and is mm. not really staying with me i'll pick some other person for my happiness maybe mm. my spouse my in-laws my friend my neighbor and try to depend on others conduct for happiness because this has become a kind of conditioning in me my whole effort is getting focused outside isn't it mm. nay vidhi ओके स्वयं प्रभा जी स्वयं प्रभा दीदी जी जी भैया नमस्ते भैया मैं ये सोच रही थी कि एक्चुअली ये तो सब समझ है और लाइक कितना एसोसिएटेड हो गए यूएसबी से सो डेफिनेटली ये पता है कि हैप्पीनेस बट कभी कभी भैया ऐसा होता है कि लाइक यू नो वी गेट अ काइंड ऑफ यू नो समटाइम्स वी सी इनजस्टिस आउटसाइड और वी बीइंग एक्सप्लॉयटेड एट सम वे और द अदर so uh, it really uh, makes us feel as if you know uh, like uh, what kind of happiness this is and so although uh, you know it is always haunting that is we need to be happy we need to be uh, more uh, you know in harmony but nevertheless these external sources always make us uh, you know i mean uh, makes me uh, quite uh, you know unhappy and all the time i'm contemplating so uh, we are uh, like uh, if happiness is in it then why this thoughts come so somewhere i think i lack uh, some sort of an understanding or i'm yet to discover uh, you know that how to make myself happy is it like that yeah, so this is this is because happiness still is not my natural state and that's how some external influence disturbs me <clears throat> so two things will happen when i am able to ensure happiness innately one thing is that i am happy by myself and second thing i am participating for others happiness also very naturally i do not have to make some onerous some extra heavy effort to make the other happy i naturally participate for others happiness so if some injustice is taking place in front of me i will not just sit by myself i will participate for others happiness but i will be happy within i am able to see that the person who is doing injustice is also not having the right understanding and the person who is uh meeting this injustice also may not have the right understanding so it uh, may miss uh, both the parts ji yeah that's right but then uh, at times what happens we are not able to explain them also that this is not right though we know what is right and we are very yes. sure of it that it is not something wrong that uh, we are doing but yet uh, you know maybe some sort of a grudge some sort of uh, you know uh, feeling that uh, Uh, to just uh, you know exploit or maybe uh, just to show their uh, boss uh, hood so this is what it happens so that disturbs me a lot because uh, i feel so suffocated that i'm not able to uh, you know explain though i'm right and that times uh, but i have to uh, you know again uh, say that uh, and i have to accept that a wrong is a wrong yeah so one good thing is that you are able to see the relationship with the other Yes. in place of ignoring yes. that incident you are able to see your relationship with the person yes, who is yes yes that's you know, true because i start gifting with something so that they realize that this is not something correct so yes but at the same time i have to resolve myself also otherwise so many things might be taking place and i will keep on getting anxious within me by this situation absolutely yes yes but yeah exactly that's what it happens like uh, i start yeah. contemplating more though i try to pacify with the individual that it is okay uh, so each time but it is uh, there is in the back of my mind it i'm contemplating to that no no i'm not saying this is okay this is not completely this is certainly not okay so i'll not accept yeah, that situation exactly. also i'll work to make it better but at the same time i am able to see my relationship i am able to see the solution within right 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 one part Because... could be that we ignore it 
the second option is that I become anxious. The third is that I am resolved and I am able to resolve the situation also. So what is right, the right. third option? Ignoring right. is not the right option, isn't it? Because this is not acceptable. Yes, to exactly. So, yes, sometimes and we are not able to ignore also because we have we are dealing with the person on the, on day to day basis. No, I'll say that why to go for ignoring at all? I'll not ignore at all. I'll feel concerned, isn't it? At the same time, I will be able to see the solution also. Right. Yes, thank Nine you, Bhaiya. Thank you so much. Yarla Gada Karunji. There are only a few minutes left, so you may keep your question brief. I hope I'm audible to you. Yeah, your voice is clear there. Thank you. You are not able to listen to Nice. So today what we discussed is that we have started exploring within whether happiness is my innate nature or some external influence. So being innate nature means that I am happy by myself. My own understanding, feeling, thought you know, keeps me happy. I do not get anxious within, I do not get perturbed, I do not get uncomfortable, I do not get disturbed by my own thoughts or feelings. Now, this may take time for each one of us, isn't it? Because we'll see how when we try to ensure happiness within, what all is required to be done, isn't it? But if that is not the case, then it is an external influence for me. I am trying to depend on something outside for my happiness. Now, outside Things may become more and more sophisticated. Things may change. Okay, uh, There may be more facilities, more people around me. But still, if the source of happiness is not within, then I'm enslaved. Then I'm not in a state of continuity of happiness because the outside things may change anytime. And if I'm depending on something outside for my happiness, then there is no chance of continuity of happiness. And as we say every time that my basic aspiration is to be happy in continuity. So a natural conclusion from that particular statement is that I can be in a state of continuity of happiness only when happiness is stated within me. It is not something to be fetched from outside, isn't it? Now what it all takes to make it our innate nature, we'll explore, we'll see. But at least the goal has to be clear. The program has to be clear. The achievement will come with time. The development will come with time. But at least the goal has to be clear. So the goal is not to multiply the physical facilities for happiness. If I'm doing that, then my goal has gone amiss. My goal has gone wrong. I have to re-evaluate my goal. So many times when we do not have the right proposal in front of us, we make wrong goals in our life. And then still, when we are trying to achieve our goals, we are unhappy. Even after achieving the goal, we are unhappy because the goal was not right. So the goal is to have happiness stated within or to have its source outside. This is something that we'll explore and we'll go like this only. We'll keep on raising the questions and taking your opinions, taking your sharing and reflection, taking your questions and we'll proceed with that. And I suggest that when we are doing this morning exercise, let us make a journal and we can note down things on a routine basis. Every day, now we'll be giving you some assignment also. Today, also, uh, this broad question will be floated for you as an assignment. You can make a journal and we start noting your reflections there. So nice. This is all that I had to share. So I now request Tara Bhia to please take up. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kumar Bhaiya, for uh, taking the session. And thank you to all the co-explorers for being a part of this 10th batch of the morning session.